What's up, YouTube, and what you know, my name is Domino with the Zero, and welcome to day six, the final day of our Pokemon Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon Hype Week TCG videos. Whew. The last five days, we have had a new Pokemon uh, TCG video um, go up in hype for Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon, which as of today comes out tomorrow, which upsets me saying it now because breaking the fourth wall, I'm still seven days away from it. But when this video goes up, we'll be less than a day until our Pokemon Ultra Sun Ultra Moon LP starts. If you didn't know, we're gonna be making it the best LP on the channel. I'm gonna be doing everything I can to make it the best LP on the channel. I really hope that you'll join us for that. Now, as a recap of the week so far, Saturday, we opened up a uh, Shiny Sil Valley box. On Sunday, we opened Zorark GX box. Monday, we opened up um, part one of this booster box, this Crimson Invasion booster box, and that was our Buzzwool packs. On Tuesday, we opened Sil Valley packs. Yesterday, we opened the Buzzwool packs. Yeah, I think I said that right. Today, we're gonna be finishing up with the Kartana packs. Now, if you haven't been watching, on each of the three videos, oops, I'm sorry for hitting the mic. On each of the three videos, did I hit start? Yeah, on each of the three videos, um, that have preceded this one of this Crimson Invasion box have asked you a question and if you answer it I might potentially give you a pack or a uh, a code for TCGO now What is it going to be today? I didn't even think about this. I didn't even really feel okay So let's go with what was in Sun and Moon. What was your favorite trial to complete? That's a good question. Whoa let me know in the comments below what your favorite trial was and I might send you a code. If you're subscribed, higher chance to get a code. Um, so, like I said, if we go jump to the pack cam, you can see our Kartana packs. We got nine of them to open to finish up our box and then we're gonna recap the entire box. So if you don't want spoilers, make sure you check out the last three videos because I'll tell you this much, this box has been really good, which is scary because a couple people when they open their Crimson Invasion boxes haven't gotten anything. Pull rates are terrible. Some people have gotten like three pulls. And if you've watched the last three videos of ours, I'm scared to open these packs because I don't know if there's gonna be anything in here. I'm just gonna tell you that now. So let's go ahead and get to it. And let's talk about the trials. So if we start talking about the trials on the first island, the only trial on the first island was um, Ilima. Uh, I think that's how you say it. I think it's Ilima. I don't think it's Alima. I think it's Ilima. Um, it might be Alima. I don't know. Do we have an official... Do we know if it's Ilima or Ilima? I don't think we know. But uh, his trial with the whole... Let's go with a dark energy. His trial with the whole Rattataz or Young Gooses, like, that was okay, I guess. I, You know what I really liked about Ilima? His team that you fought, you when you fought against the Smeargle, he had the super effective move. He actually beat me the first time I fought him. Um, also, moving these cards as far as I am. Look at that. Hollow Alola Marowak. In the last video, we had a string of hollows, so I wonder if we'll wind up duplicating that today. Um, but Ilima's probably not going to be my favorite. On the second island... Oh, the first trial was Lana. Okay, so the first trial was Lana. Uh, Lana's trial... Okay, I love the wishy-washy water. Um, I love the wishy-washy jumping out of the ocean at you. I thought that was absolutely amazing. Um, but the trial itself, where it was like, you would just fight one little wishy-washy, Kinda underwhelming, um, but I would probably put it above Ilima's trial. Uh, and then I think the next one was Kiawe's trial. I think it was Kiawe's next, and Kiawe's trial was so much potential. I wonder if you can see the notifications on my watch. If you, like, stop that. Uh, anyway. What, what did I say? Kiawe's trial was really dumb with the whole dances and fire type. Oop, fairy. Um, I, I didn't really like that. 
Now, Mallow's trial, on the other hand, Mallow's trial was awesome. And I'm pretty sure, if I remember right, the Lorantis that we fought whooped my butt. Woo! Whoop my, absolutely whoop, whoop me up. Whoop me up. But I really liked having to search out the, um, search out the ingredients. I thought that was really unique. I don't think it's something that we've done, to, not to the extent that it had us do it. I don't think we've had to do that before, but, uh, so I think so far I would probably say that Illumas is my, or no, excuse me, uh, Grass, uh, that Mallows was my favorite. And you get to the third island. What were the trials on the third island? Oh, the first one was Sophocles. And if you watch my other videos, you know how much I dislike Sophocles. Um, so that, that was probably one of the worst trials. So, and, and his, the, the, blah, 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 Bicavolt, being as slow as that thing is, um, but the ghost trial, what, Acerola's trial, you know what, Acerola's trial will get points from me because it legitimately scared me when I turned around to see the mimic you. You know what I'm talking about, you, you'll, you'll remember, um, whew. I'm gonna go with a psychic energy. Oh, got it, nice. So... That one, it might be that one or Mallow's Trial. Also, with this music, this song is short. I don't know if you've noticed it, but this song is shorter than they normally are. So it's repeating more than it. Hope that's not too annoying for anybody. Uh, you know, I opened Cartana last because Cartana is my favorite Ultra Beast. Uh, but... The rest of these packs might have sucked up all of the good cards. Anyway, let's continue chatting. Is that all of the trials? Have I gone through all of them? I feel like before Team Skull took out... I feel like Hotown itself could have been a trial for... I'm going to go with the Grass Energy. I don't know if you noticed the pattern I'm doing with these Energy cards, but... I feel like Potown would have been the perfect, like, bug-type trial. If Team Skull wasn't, like, doing their, you know, evil ways. Um, but I think that's all of the trials on that island. And then the only trial that's left is the final trial with Komo'o. And if you know me, you should have already known that I was going to say that the Komo'o trial was my favorite trial. Uh, because he doesn't seem to have any trainers. There's that one girl with the paint on her face. You know what I'm talking about? I don't remember her name. Uh, you can tell me in the comments below what her name was. But uh, I wonder, because she had said something about how she was going to have to come up with a trial. If you're like, how do you remember all this? Well, in preparation for Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon, I've been watching, uh, I've been watching Nappy Sun and Moon playthrough. But I'm going to go with a fighting energy. And so all of this stuff is like super fresh on my mind. Just trying to prep myself to be the best LP on, on YouTube. Um, so I think my order of trials would go Komo'o. And then... Alright, I got two packs left. You know what? I have not pulled a Secret Rare Trainer out of a Sun and Moon pack since I think base Sun and Moon. I think it's been that long. That's wild if you think about it. It really is. Um, so how about a psychic energy? Oh, my energy calls. Let me, did I get one in this video? Or was that just in the last video? I don't even remember. All right, here we go. We're, we're nearing the end, so. The Komo'o trial, Acerola's Mimikyu trial, and uh, Mallow's Lorantis trial, I think are the two best. This is our final pack, and then we recap the whole box. And at this point, my favorite Ultra Beast is going to flop. 
and not give us anything good. That's that's funny. All right, uh, for the last one, let's go fire. Well, I actually should have gone dark. If I anyway, that's that's a, a hole for another whole thing. All right, come on, come on, Cartana, don't do this to me. You're making me look silly by picking you. You're making me look silly by picking you. Yep. Well, the Cartana was a bust, but uh, let's go through the very first pull that we got in the first video. Very first pull was an Alolan Executor Hyper Rare. And then we pulled a Guzzlord GX Full Art, followed by a Nihilego Regular Art. That was the first pack art. So Guzzlord, three pulls, okay? Uh, and then Silvalli started off with an Alolan Golem GX, followed by an, an Alolan Executor GX. Two pulls for, uh, for Silvalli. And then we did Buzzwool. Buzzwool came up with the Alolan Golem full art. Wait, I think that's the last one. Oh yeah, yeah, so that was just one pull. So for the first video, if you guessed Guzzlord, which I don't know why you wouldn't have after the video was there, and you were correct. Six pulls, which typically is like, no, okay, sure. But the fact that it's two full arts, where where are they? Two full arts, one hyper rare, three GXs, I can't complain. This box has been great. So thank you again to Pokeball. I'm pretty sure I said his name at the beginning of the video as I did at the beginning of all four videos. Make sure you check out his description in the link below. Tomorrow, 9 a.m. Central Time is episode one of our Pokemon Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. Let's play. I really hope you'll join us. It's going to be an amazingly fun time. We're doing absolutely everything in the game. I don't know when TCG videos will be back. All I know is that we're going to be doing a lot of Pokemon Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. I'm sure we will have some TCG sprinkled in then. So we'll see you tomorrow for Pokemon Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. Until then, have a blessed day.